everyone, it's Monday here in Craft Clutch, and you know what that means. That means it's Make Something Monday. What we're going to make today is a little garden art, and it's going to be kind of a recycled, upcycled garden art where we're going to turn a styrofoam ball, a dowel rod, and some spoons into an artichoke. Now I've thought this through in my head, but I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see how it works. So let's get started. The first thing is artichokes are not shaped in a ball. They're kind of, they get kind of pointy on one side. So all I'm going to do is put a little pressure on, roll it around the table and put a little pressure on it to kind of give it a different shape. Now it, it has a little bit of a pointier shape to it and you can press with your fingers a little bit if you want it a little more pointy, but I think this is probably okay. And what we're going to do is the spoon parts are going to be, you know how the artichokes have those leaves? I'm just going to break the spoons. And you might want to wear safety glasses just in case something splinters. Kind of break them and you don't have to break them e evenly. But I want to kind of make a bit of a almost teepee look for the very first. Because I'm going to start in the middle and I'm just going to jam it right in there until I come up with something like this. Now what I'm going to do also is use a lot of glue, and I'm just using this ultimate glue, but you could use a weld bond or anything like that, anything that will adhere to plastic and styrofoam without eating away at the styrofoam. So I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to put some glue in there. And basically what I'm going to try to do is have this entire ball covered with the glue by the time I'm done with this because that way when I spray paint it won't eat away at the styrofoam. So you want to get it into the hole so it will adhere to the plastic but you also want to get it every place around so I'll probably throw some gloves on at some point. Alright I have my first three in. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert the, the dowel rod into the bottom. Now all I'm going to do is stick it in there. Make sure I have it on pretty straight. And then I'm going to put a lot of glue in there just like I did with the spoons. Now all we're going to do is we're going to keep building from here with our spoons all the way around and then like on here I'm going to want to cover the seams and then I'll just kind of keep going until I create this whole leaf effect. Now when I got to about this part of the artichoke what I found was it was really hard to get the spoons in so what I have done now is I've bent them and they bend pretty easy so I'm inserting some of them bent in like that I'm going to fill in in between there then but I'll just insert them this way and it's kind of a little hold for the other ones to come. I've gotten it this far and now I have to work on the bottom so I've inverted it on a cup just to keep it um, from falling over and what I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of hot glue. I've coated the rest of the styrofoam ball with a lot of the glue. I really gooped it on there but since I can't really stick this in anywhere anymore to support it, I'm going to put just a little bit of hot glue on the inside of, of the spoon and then I'm going to put it down on here and I'm just going to lay it there. And that will give it just a little bit of grip like on this one here if I put a little spot there and it will hold everything into place while the, the rest of the glue is drying. So I'll continue to do that until I'm all full on the bottom. I'm back with the artichoke and it's dry. I had a rubber band around it to kind of keep it in place as the glue was drying. But now the glue is dry and what I need to do is paint it. And I'm going to use a black spray paint over the whole thing first and it adheres to plastic and then I'm going to be, and it's an indoor outdoor, so putting it outside will be fine then if you have the right spray paint and on. And I'm going to follow it up with a green to give it the artichoke color. I'm back with the artichoke and it's been painted black, so that's my first coat. And then I'm going to cover it with an artichoke colored um, spray paint to go over it. And that will kind of make a pop and if you've ever seen an artichoke it's got like darker areas and lighter areas. So the black is going to work as the darker areas. And then I'll finish it up. I will 
finished spray painting the stem and then I'm going to put just a little accent probably a wire or something underneath it'll give it just a little bit of support and it'll work as a decorative piece so remember and I think I did not mention before when you are spray painting this you want to make sure you buy a paint that will adhere to plastic and if you don't you must get like the plastic primer spray that first and then go over it with the with the other spray paint but if you can find the stuff that works on plastic you can cut out that stuff I'll be back here's the finished artichoke and I added a little bit of wire underneath just to give it a little bit of a decorative feel to it and that was just from the dollar store floral wire from the dollar store so here it is you can see a little bit of the black accents in there here and there um, but for the most part it's the green and all I'm going to do is stick this out in my yard and you could certainly have this inside you can make some kind of a centerpiece out and I'm guessing nobody's going to know that you made this out of plastic spoons so I hope you like it I hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Happy crafting. Stop by my website at www.craftclatch.com for directions for this and all my other crafts. Thanks again for watching. I want you guys to challenge me a little bit. This was something I made out of plastic spoons. And I want you to give me some items, maybe, you know, for example, like the plastic forks or something like that, but some very inexpensive material for me to craft and come up with something with. So throw some ideas out there of things that, that I might want to try. It's got to be inexpensive, readily available, and I'll try to come up with something fun in a craft. So throw some ideas out there in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.